In today's video, I'm going to show you things that you can do to help speed up your computer's boot time. First and foremost, to get this out of the way, upgrading an old mechanical hard drive to an SSD or M2 drive is one of the quickest and best ways to see a noticeable speed boost in your boot time. Having said that, let's show you some of the software changes you can make that will also help. When you turn on your system, your PC spends a small bit of time scanning your CD-ROM and USB connected drives looking for boot information. This is by design for operating system installations. You can recover this time used by going into your BIOS and making sure your primary hard drive is listed as the first boot up device. For more information using your BIOS, there's a link to a tutorial in the video description. Next, we're going to change the Windows boot time settings. To do that, in the search bar, type in the following, MS config. Now, select the tab labeled boot. From here, check the checkbox next to where it says no GUI boot. Then mouse over to where it says timeout and change the timeout from 30 seconds to three seconds. Check the checkbox where it says make all boot settings permanent. Click apply, okay, and then restart your computer. For our next tip, we're gonna do a Windows update. So open up the start menu, click settings, select update and security, and finally check for updates. It's best to let Windows update do its thing and update what's needed. If prompted to restart your computer, do so. Now we're gonna do a system scan for viruses. So open up start menu, click settings, select update and security, on the left-hand menu, select Windows Security. Now click Open Windows Security. And finally, select Virus and Threat Protection. From here, click the button that says Quick Scan and let Windows check itself. No virus is found, so let's move on. Some people have a slow boot up problem due to something called fast boot being turned on. Turning fast boot off might help your boot times or it might not, but it's easy to toggle on or off and it's worth a test to see if it helps with your issue. To enable or disable Fastboot, click Start, select Settings, highlight and select System. On the left-hand menu, select Power and Sleep. On the right side of the page, select Additional Power Settings. Now on the left side of the new menu, Select Choose what the power buttons do. You can see here, under Shutdown Settings, that our Fast Startup option is grayed out. To make this option usable, click up top where it says Change Settings that are currently unavailable. With that done, you can now check Fast Startup on or off. I check it off and select Save Settings. Your system will now use the settings you set for your next restart. If you would like to turn Fast Startup back on, simply come back to this page, check the option Back On, and select Save Settings. If you're using an SSD or M2 drive, you can skip this one. For people that have a mechanical hard drive, this tip is a must-do. I would recommend highly to download and install the program called Defragler. A link will be in the description. Once installed, run the program, analyze your boot drive and defrag it every few months. This program will reorder the files on your hard drive in such a way that the hard drive will have an easier time loading them. After the Windows 10 Creator update, some people had slow boot problems due to out-of-date graphics drivers. It's for this reason we suggest that you update yours. Whether it's AMD or NVIDIA, go to the graphic card manufacturer's website, download the latest drivers, install them, and restart your computer. For our last tip, we're gonna disable startup programs that we don't need auto-starting with the computer. It's a good idea to block most programs from auto-starting. This way, the software only loads into memory when you run it, rather than loading at boot time, slowing down the entire process. To do this, type in the search box the following text. Task space 
Manager. Now, click Task Manager to load it. If yours is void of information, click the little drop-down arrow where it says More Details. Now, click the tab on top titled Startup. This is a list of programs that start with your computer. And aside from Windows security notifications, most of these can be disabled. Right-click on any one that you wish to disable and select Disable. Do this for every program you wish to block from startup. And once finished, restart your computer. Hopefully this video has helped you. And as always, if you like this video, then please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.